What is good, everybody? It is KJ, and I am back with week four of GBU. So, I do want to just say thank you, everybody, that's been watching the videos. Really, really excited to continue to put out content. It's been a lot of fun. It's been so much fun. And I know in GBU, we've been struggling. <laughs> we've we've had two 1-0 losses. We've had a 3-0 loss that we very well could have won if I would have sort of played a little bit better. But it's not over. We're... 0 and 3 minus 5. That's not all that bad. Um, obviously, we want to get some dubs, but hey, at least we have a good differential right now in terms of like if we do start winning games, we could potentially jump back and make it in the playoffs. So you never know until until the season's over. I'm not gonna give up. But that's that's beside the point. So this week we're facing odds. Odds is a very good player. I know odds made a pretty damn good run in the BBR, I think semifinals, and had like an upset of the one seed. It was, yo, it was dope. It was dope. So very excited to play odds. Um, they are also 0-3. However, I'm never going <laughs> to underestimate a, an opponent, like never going to do that. So very excited to play them, like I said, but let's jump into the matchup, which you'll see on the screen right now. Uh, and you'll also see down below the... Six Mons, I think they are most likely to bring. So I'm going to kind of go into my team and let's get into it. So, all right. So first we have Manaphy. We are Assault Vest. Honestly, I wanted a Manaphy that could just take hits and just click buttons, right? So Scald felt pretty good into this team. They do have an Urshifu single strike. So like I needed to make sure that everything on the team could potentially live a hit from that. So yeah, there's that. Like I said, Scald is pretty free into this team, I feel like. I do have knockoff, which is also pretty nice. Energy ball is here to hit the Quagsire. And honestly, just you turning on things like Shaman and stuff like that would be, would be totally fine. So I do I do like the utility, the more utility mana fee here. I have brought like setup every week. So I figured this should be pretty good. And we do pretty comfortably live hits from a lot of special attackers, especially the Zorark, which is something that I'm really kind of trying to be cognizant of because that is how I feel like I could potentially throw this game out the window, right? If I give up something that's really important to the Zoroark, we're in a we're in a really bad spot. So I imagine if it comes, the Zoroark will be posing as Thundee, because I think Thundee T does do pretty well into my team. So we'll continue on. Next, we have the Armourers. We are Terra Fire this week again, and we are Boots. We are weak armor, which is really nice. I think three attacks and destiny bond is just really good here. I think if we can destiny bond the Gudra, that would be fantastic. So I'm guessing that what ends up happening is he's going to end up U-turning with something and getting Gudra in. We get the speed boost, we destiny bond, and Gudra kills us, and then we're good to go. That's That's my hope. That is my hope. It might not happen that way. Honestly, getting a Destiny Bond kill on most things that I think he's going to bring could be really nice. Like, obviously, the Urshifu, that would be really nice, as well as the Slow King, that would be really nice. But I'm most worried about the Gudra. I think the Gudra really puts a lot of pressure on us defensively. So I'm really trying to figure out the best way to break that down. And then once we can get rid of that, I think the rest of the team does pretty damn well. So... Very excited about that. Next, we have the very, very, very bulky Alolan Ninetales tier. Now, the reason I was able to go so bulky is because it has a pretty massive speed tier gap. Like, 97, I believe, with Urshifu, all the way down to 60. So, there's a lot of, there's a lot of gap in between that. I do think that it could be, like, a Scarf Urshifu or, like, a Trailblaze Urshifu or something like that. So, honestly, I wanted this thing to just be physically defensive and be able to just kind of use the hail defense boost or the snow defense boost and some of its natural bulk to just kind of live hits from Urshifu. That's that's kind of my plan. We do have Veil as well, which is really nice. One thing to note is that the crits from the Wicked Blow will not be, will not matter. They're going to ignore the fact that we have Veil up. So that is something to keep in mind, especially when I'm calcing during games. But Overall, I think this is pretty solid. I do think that I'll want to kind of scout what's going to be coming in with, say, like coming in on this. So that's why I do have Baton Pass. I don't necessarily see a lot of setup 
tier. So that's why I didn't go with like Encore or something like that. I felt like Baton Pass just gave me like a good spot, especially if I already have Veil up. Like if I already have Veil up and Nine Tails is in, being able to Baton Pass out into something to then just do massive damage is really nice. And it will be like a slower Baton Pass, even though his team is sort of split between fast mons and slow mons. So yeah. Anyway, next we have the first appearance of Breloom. So I almost bought Breloom last week, but I think Breloom this week just does really, really well. So Life Orb just to hit harder. I did want to go Choice Band, but like it just didn't really work out. So yeah, we are Rock Tomb to hit the potential Talonflame coming in. And I think Talonflame's primary reason for coming in this game is to remove hazards and check this thing. So having Rock Tomb, I think will be really good. We also have Bulldoze to just kind of really take advantage of the slow king coming in potentially especially if he's like a bulkier slow king uh more physically bulky slow king uh we still do two hit ko bullet seed is just really good stab and hits really hard i do have to be careful with bullet seed because the gudra will probably be sap zipper so that is something to also keep in mind and we also have mock punch which technician life or boosted mock punch from uh, max attack adamant breloom does a ton of damage like banded i was i was really excited because i was like oh banded does so well but like i gotta be careful of the damn zora kasui so i couldn't just like choice into mock punch so that is something i'll have to keep in mind but yeah i really like this i think this breloom can do a ton of work if we position it right and also can just like be sort of a late game win con with the fact that it has mock punch and the fact that it's faster than more than half the team. So really excited for that. Uh, next we have what is, which is our win con, or at least one of them, is the Roaring Moon. So we are booster energy with booster speed. That way we can pretty much outpace anything that he wants to bring. And I'm running EQ, Acro, and Knock here. And I think that's probably the best set that we want. Like, I do think we can get a Dragon Dance off pretty freely on quite a few things on the team. So really interested in that. And then I think it's just, it's just gonna be positioning this to just kind of try to win. So yeah. And then last we have sort of like our secondary win con, but also something that could help out with some of the other, the other mons is we have a Scarf and Namorous. So we are bringing Scarf and Namorous again. We are Scarf to outspeed the Thundee if it is Scarf. So yeah, I think that, I think that, I think Thundee 331. So yeah, we're 332. Yep. That makes that, that all, that all adds up. Um, but yeah, so Moonblast and Earth Power just do really well into this team. Draining Kiss is there in case I do want to kind of get more recovery or get some recovery rather, uh, cause we didn't really need anything else. And then last move is Healing Wish just because Healing Wish is just really nice to heal back up the Manaphy or even the Ninetales if I feel like Urshifu is getting out of hand or anything like that. So that is that is something that I'm, I'm pretty excited to have. And honestly, the way I look at it is if Urshifu is banded, like my, my biggest concerns in this game are Urshifu and Gudra. Gudra being his Terra Captain, which is either Terra Water or Terra Fairy, which we will find out because we do have Terra Preview. But my biggest thing is the Urshifu is very scary, but if we get some chip on it, we do revenge it with Mach Punch. So that is nice. We also, everything lives a hit. Everything lives at least one Wicked Blow. So that is good. If the Urshifu is choice, we can handle it. The problem is going to be if we can't break down the walls of like Gudra and the Slow King Galar, then we're gonna have problems. But Anyway, I have rambled way too much. <laughs> I will be catching y'all very shortly for the battle. Yo, so we are back and we are playing odds. So we did just reveal Terra types. We are Terra Fire, he is Terra Fairy. So that is good to know. And we do get most of the team. The only thing we don't see is the talent. Oh no, we do see the talent plane. Um, wait, what didn't he bring? Oh, no Zora. Okay, cool. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with no Zorak. We get Grim Snarl instead. So I do have to keep in mind screens. Screens are a little annoying. I'm guessing the Grim Snarl is going to be like a taunt variant or something along those lines. He could lead Grim Snarl. He could lead Talonflame. Let's actually lead with the Manaphy. Let's lead with Manaphy here. I think Manaphy is pretty solid into this. We can get a Scald off. Yeah, let's lead with Manaphy. I think this is a good call. So 
good luck, have fun to odds, as I mentioned, and yeah, let's do this. So let's see what he decides to lead. Leads with the Gudra, okay. So I think the first, I think we immediately want to knock this thing off. I think we immediately want to knock this thing off. I don't know what it's going to have. It could click Toxic here. That would be kind of obnoxious. Oh, it doesn't even Terra. Okay, he shook her. Oh, Dragon Tails me out. Okay. Ooh. Okay. We know he shook her, so... Gudra. Sui. I think we live one hit from this. We don't live a hit from this if we're minus. So, I kind of want to go into Enamorous here. I know this is a little, this is a little risky. I don't know if I, this might've been a bad call. This might've been a bad play. Okay. So we see that he's Draco. I don't really want to, I think I want to go back into, yeah, I want to go back into Manaphy here. I don't want to, I don't want to reveal anything. And I think we see a flash cannon come out probably. I'm kind of just trying to scout what this thing wants to do. Okay, so he withdraws. What does he go into? Um, probably the slow king. Okay, cool. We get another knockoff. That's actually really nice. Whatever this thing has, we get to knock it off. I kind of like that. So Manaphy already is putting in some work. Seabury. Ooh, interesting. He gets the sludge bomb off. That's okay. No poison. That is good. Um... We're gonna scald. We're gonna scald. We're gonna scald expecting maybe Gudra to come back in. Undy. Ooh, okay. This is good. We get a scald off on this thing. Do we get a burn? No burn. Okay. So from where we are, I don't think we live. Uh, it's close. I think this thing is still good. I kind of want to go. You know what? I kind of want to knock this off too. I'm going to click knock again. Ooh. We're living. We are living. Yeah, we don't have good switch-ins to this. <laughs> so I needed to... Okay, it is Scarf. I am glad I knocked this off. Okay, so... Now that we know that it's Scarf, and that it's Wild Bolt Storm, um, do we let Manaphy go down here? No, I think Manaphy still has pretty good use here. I'm... Okay, so he does see that we're booster speed. And now this thing volt switches, okay. That's fine. So Gudra comes back out. That is fine. I don't want to just sack Roaring Moon off. Yeah, we still don't really kill this. I did just kind of waste the unfortunately I did just kind of waste that. We don't have good switch-ins into Gudra. Like this this has been a known thing. So, I think what I'm going to do is, I mean, I know he's Terra Fairy. I know that he's Terra Fairy. I think we go back and we sack off Manaphy here. I think I think I might have wasted that on Moon. Yeah, I think we sack off the Manaphy here, unfortunately. We get to see this thing's, we get to see what move this is. That was, that was a little rough. That was a little unfortunate, but I think with this team, Moon just does still do pretty well. This Ice Spinner. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. Okay. So he's Ice Spinner, Ice Spinner, Dragon Tail, Draco, not Terra Blast then. Hmm, okay, let's go back into Armorage. I actually feel pretty good about going Terra Fire and clicking Armor Cannon, I think. Yeah, we're gonna go Terra Fire, we're gonna click armor cannon. I think this thing is probably the most expendable of all the things. So I needed to get chip on something. I should done this with something. I could have probably saved Manaphy as a sack and went into... Okay. They Terra. Okay. So they are Terra Fairy. That is fine. So this is going to do a good amount. I don't know exactly how much, but this is going to do a pretty good amount. Because I don't know what their exact spread is. <laughs> yeah. This... If they click Draco here, this is going to 
Yeah, so this is definitely gonna kill us. Oh, it doesn't! Oh, that's actually pretty clutch. I was fairly certain this was gonna kill. So, we click Armor Cannon again. We click Armor Cannon again. Getting Gudra out of the way is gonna be huge. This thing was a massive pain for me. And man, if he put in work getting rid of the Kasib Berry on the uh, Slow King, as well as getting rid of the Scarf on the Thunderous. Okay, so we're gonna get a kill with this. Nice. So. And yeah, so I mean, it's unfortunate that we wasted our uh, booster energy. That's pretty bad. But we still have Scarf and Amorous in the back. So Scarf and Amorous deals with quite a few of the things here. And if we can get Breloom in cleanly, then we should be in a pretty decent spot. So what comes in now? Shifu might come in. Yeah, Shifu comes in. That makes sense. I'm going to Destiny Bond here. Clicks you turn, yeah. Like, there, we were dying anyway. <laughs> we were dying to that regardless, so. I wanted to click Destiny Bond on the off chance that he, like, sword stance or something crazy like that. So Shif Shifu gets the kill on Armor Rouge, but that's fine. So we get switch uh, initiative because they click U turn. So, so Grimmsnarl comes in, and I think this is our opportunity to try to maybe get Veil up. Yeah, I think this is our opportunity to get Veil up. Because this thing doesn't really do all that much to us. And I guess I could have tried to save Armor Rouge, but I felt like it wasn't super valuable with a good amount of the stuff out speeding it. And yeah, so we just click Veil. He clicks Light Screen. Okay, that's fine. I have to be careful with Baton Pass here. I do have to be careful because I don't want a Baton Pass minus stats. That is something I need to keep in mind because if he parting shots here, I think I'm going to Moonblast because... Oh, there he just reflects. Okay. That still does decent damage. Um, yeah, maybe I should have parting shotted last turn. <laughs> maybe I should have parting shotted last turn. Oh. Stays in. We get a spatak drop, okay. Ooh, brick break. That was a good bring. Okay. That is fine. We can set Veil again. Brick break was a good bring. So this is like his screen slash anti-screen. So I do kind of wish I had Encore. If I had Encore here, I could have Encored him into Light Screen or Reflect. Or probably, I would have been, I would have been Encoring him to Reflect. But that could have been nice. I didn't think about the potential of Parting Shot. So Parting Shot would be pretty problematic here. Just, okay, cool. So we get Veil up again, which is nice. And Slow King comes in, that's fine. He probably just Chilly Receptions here. So we can pretty freely baton pass, I think. So we baton pass. The real question is, is he gonna be double scarf? That's the that's the real question. He's gonna be double scarf. Also, he's saving that damn talent flame. He just blood bombs. Okay, cool. Um we are still behind Veil. And now is the time to D-dance. <laughs> now is the time to D-dance, because we have Veil up, and I think this can potentially get out of hand for him. So I, I would imagine Grimmsnarl's coming in. Thundee comes in. Yeah, oh. I'm surprised. Okay. I am surprised Thundee comes in. Um, I mean, we already knocked this thing off, but... This should kill? Yeah, okay. We did get the D-Dance off. Ooh, Talonflame comes in, okay. It's probably gonna defog. Do I D-Dance again? Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna D-Dance again. This might be greedy. This could also have Will-O-Wisp, but I'm gonna D-Dance again. I'm guessing he's gonna try to defog the screen. 
greens. That was my thought, but maybe he just tries to burn this. Oh, he just did flamethrower. Oh. Okay. Opposing team play terrain wears off, which means reflect is gone next turn. So we can just knock off. Okay, so he was Gale Wing. I was expecting a Gale Wing's Defog. So we're in a pretty good spot. We are in a pretty good spot. Talent Flame is gone. No Flame Body Burn. That is huge. So I, I don't think, unless he's banded, I don't think we're in Shifu Sucker Punch range. Unless he's banded, we're not in range. So let's just click Acro. If he's banded, we're in range. Oh, no. Okay, cool. So we get the kill on the Shifu. Does Moon win here? So my Veil's gone. Yeah, he would have had to be banded to kill us behind Veil. So this comes out. We click Acro. He has to click Reflect. Oh no, no Reflect. Wow. Okay. And last Mon is Slowking. So I think we're gonna get the dub. I think we are gonna get a 4-0 dub. So Roaring Moon finally comes in, <laughs> finally comes in clutch. Wow, Roaring Moon, it, oh my goodness, this Mon, this Mon is solid. This Mon is very solid. Having knockoff is really nice for it. So yeah, this this Mon is super solid. I, I do really, really enjoy having having this on the squad. And I'm glad I'm finally able to like showcase that it's good. <laughs> so yeah, GG to odds. See, that's what I was trying to say earlier. Like, so we're gonna go to one and three minus one. So like, we're still in this. We are still in GBU. We got some more super, super tough games. Cause again, this league is freaking stacked. But yo, go check out Odds, puts out dope content. Um, and it's a very good player. So you'll enjoy their content and yo, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Take it easy everybody, peace.